Today we're going to compare five of the seemingly most popular ultra-compact models on the current market, focusing in on performance and mechanics, and discussing in particular how the differences between them relate to fulfilling the needs and conditions of varying lifestyles and environments. Before we begin, I'd like to say firstly that though I, of course, don't consider the strollers in this video equal in all respects, they're all models that pass the test to receive my recommendation, and if you've watched our channel, you may have gathered that this is definitely not the case with many of the strollers that we review. Secondly, for all the newcomers out there, I'd like to make it clear that we don't sell strollers, engage in paid advertising, or even use affiliate links. Our qualifications for making our recommendations are based on a decade's experience of repairing strollers for private consumers, distributors, and manufacturers. So let's get started then, beginning with the Baby Zen Yo-Yo 2, whose long-standing success in my opinion is the result of an excellent combination of durable minimalism and easy-to-use fold-and-carry characteristics. The Yo-Yo comes stock without a lot of frills and peripheral functions, instead merely offering a product built with quality materials and simple mechanisms that's light and compact when folded, so as to both be easily carryable with the Yo-Yo's inbuilt shoulder strap and to fit within the IATA's cabin luggage guidelines, and also, which has proven itself now over the course of a decade, to have amazing durability. As far as the negatives go, the Yo-Yo 2 is of course pricey in comparison to the competition, and also doesn't come with a rain cover or adjustable leg rest, two accessories which are often worth having in my opinion. That being said, the model does hold up very well, and there are plenty of well-maintained Yo-Yo Pluses out there on the used market if you're looking to get it more affordably. And overall then, the Yo-Yo is my favorite all-round choice for this class of stroller, in that, in my opinion, it simply remains unmatched in providing a perfect balance between durability and being easy to fold and carry during those times when you need your stroller to disappear, which I generally feel to be the chief reason for buying an Ultra Compact in the first place. Next up is the Upper Baby Minu, the sturdiest model that we'll be talking about today, due to the no-nonsense type approach that Upper Baby takes with chassis construction, where a focus on using more metal than most of their competitors to build strong, well-fitted hinges and locking components into the folding system leads to a very rigid and robust feel. Added to this are larger sized wheels, tight front fork connections, and good suspension. And note here that while the Yo-Yo has some suspension as well, it's mostly composed of thick rubber stoppers, while the Minu uses a heavy-duty spring setup that would even work well for larger sized models. On the negative side, the Minu has a shallower recline than the Yo-Yo, and no option for an adjustable leg rest, even as an accessory, as well as a wire-based brake system that tends to cause more problems in the long run than the Yo-Yo's rotation-based system. And it's also important to note that the trade-off for the Minu's hardy durability is that its folded size is often unacceptable as cabin luggage, as well as making it uncomfortable to carry for long periods, despite having a shoulder strap. That being said, the Minu is the only ultra-compact that I would recommend as a daily use model for longer periods due to its ability to tackle somewhat rougher urban environments, like broken sidewalks and gravel, on a regular basis, without such use significantly reducing the longevity of the model. Moving on, we get to the Jules Air, which has a one-hand, one-step fold like the Minu, but which actually does fold down to within the IATA guidelines. The basic structure of the Air chassis, in terms of how it folds, is quite similar to a lot of Ultra Compacts priced cheaper on the current market, many of which being too weak to really hold up over time, but what makes the Air stand out here are a variety of reinforcements in the form of welded crossbars, sturdier connection points, strongly fitted front wheels, and cleverly angled sidebars, which give the entire construction a symmetrical sturdiness quite uncommon among models built along similar lines. In addition, the Air has a shoulder strap like the previous two models, but also has a somewhat more accessible shopping basket, and an extendable portion zipped into the canopy to improve sun coverage. On the negative side, despite being strong in relation to similar models on the wider market, the Air is definitely a bit weaker compared to the Yo-Yo and the Minu. It has somewhat smaller front wheels, and the recline of the seat is complicated by the inclusion of a zipper in addition to a drawstrap. But, if the one-handed, one-step fold is important to you then, or you just really like jewels, then I would call the Air a strong, ultra-compact choice, in particular for airline travel and holiday use. Alright, next up is the Ergo Baby Metro Plus, the first of a pair of models strong enough to be included here, but that also clock in at a cheaper price point than the Yo-Yo, the Minu, or the Air. And the chief positives of the Metro Plus, in addition to that lower price, are a rigid and durable chassis built with thick bars and connection points and good horizontal stability, a telescopic handle, a decently compact fold relative to its size when open, and a large, well-padded seat with a full recline, adjustable leg rest, and good space under the canopy when the seat is fully upright. While on the negative side, the supposed to be one hand fold is a little too stiff and cumbersome to accomplish without two hands. That high position canopy is a bit lacking when it comes to sun coverage, the wheels are looser than I'd like right out of the box, the model has no suspension and smaller size front wheels, a bit of a shame given the sturdiness of the chassis, there's no carry strap, and while the folded package is within the IATA guidelines, it's right on the border, and may be rejected by some airlines as carry-on luggage. Still though, for nearly half the price of our most expensive model today, the Yo-Yo, with a rain cover and adjustable leg rest included, the sheer durability of the Metro Plus means that it will outlast a good majority of similarly priced models on the wider market. 
And last up then is the Baby Jogger City Tour 2, our cheapest model today, which like every model in this video other than the Yo-Yo, has a one-step, one-hand fold and can also get down to the IATA's set cabin luggage guidelines provided that you remove the wheels. The main positives of the Tour 2, other than its excellent price, include both a full recline and an adjustable leg rest, as well as a sturdily built folding system, even though it is a bit internally complex. The model has good horizontal stability, and I would place it, durability-wise for this video, at only slightly weaker than the Metro Plus. The negatives of the Tour 2 are a wire-based brake system, which, like on the Minu, does have the potential for problems in the long run, a somewhat less accessible shopping basket than the other models we've covered, somewhat weak connection between the front forks and housings, and the fact that the rain cover is not included with purchase. All that being said, for a good durable ultra-compact with that full recline and adjustable leg rest, I haven't found any other model on the current market that can compete with this model for the same price, making the Tour 2, in my opinion, the best budget option available for people who don't want to invest all that much into their ultra-compact. In any case, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, we ask that you subscribe, as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. If you'd like to know more about any of these models, we have standalone reviews for each of them, and links have been added in the description. In addition, if you are currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find that by following the link in the description as well. Thank you.